Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest review here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at old Shredhead, the Shredder, leader of the Foot Clan and evil nemesis of the heroic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in gorgeous purple packaging with that glossy embossed sewer shield on the front with his head right there and those, uh, those little Shredder blades on either side, glossy ultimates on top. And the most iconic pop culture logo of all time on the back. Or at least one of them. I would be comfortable saying the most, but maybe that's something that needs to be debated on the Needless Things podcast. Uh, so all of the Ultimates figures, we're used to it by now, have this gorgeous uh, slipcase. And we slide that right open. Set the top to the side and take a look at this wonderful packaging. I love the window that goes around the sides where we've got the broken away sewer blocks. Uh, we have a different color of uh, sewer blocks up here, but the same kind of moisture effect. Some graffiti on the back. Just uh, everything just looks absolutely fantastic. I love this packaging. Like I've been saying, I actually have trouble throwing this away because it looks so good, but it takes up a lot of space. So let's look past all the blocks and the graffiti to the biography in the middle here. And I love this sort of broken away block effect they've got around it. Shredder, the bad guy leader. Shredder is the hideous, gruesome, and all-around bad guy leader of the Foot Clan, the organized band of evil ninjas. This lowlife came to power when he betrayed his ninja master, Hamato Yoshi, now Splinter. Shredder wants nothing more than control of the world, and to get that, he'll stop at nothing, even if it means grating his victims like cheese with his razor-sharp armor. The obstacles in his path are none other than the turtles, and he means to destroy them. Uh, very dramatic. I am not a fan of the reinterpretation of uh, Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Saki's origin that the cartoon did, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, because, oh gosh, I already see a, a major quality issue here, and it's something that's going to be a little tough to, to deal with because... I don't care, but it's a problem. Take a look at that and see if you can see what I'm seeing. And uh, we'll go ahead and open this up and get right down to it. With our trusty 1964 box cutter sliced right through that little uh, piece of adhesive tape, the little circle right there. I'm a big fan of the Ultimates packaging, as I've already said. I love how easy it is to deal with and how well everything can go back into the package if you so desire. Got a couple more pieces of tape to handle here. All right. I'm also a huge fan of the fact that Super 7 gives you the option of a vinyl cape or a soft goods cape. I think that is absolutely awesome. So let's flip this guy over here. Take our Dollar Tree fingernail clippers. Pay $1. Keep these in your toy opening area. And you will not have to struggle with twist ties and rubber bands. Like an average, ordinary human being. You can be a super toy owner. All right, I'll calm down. Now we have a katana here that looks like it's basically a repaint of one of Leonardo's, which is absolutely fine. I do not need a huge amount of variety in my Ninja Turtles katana. Got the same little stabby weapons here, which is, I'll be honest, I did not remember Shredder coming with all of this same stuff. Uh, but I think it's safe to assume that he did. Uh, honestly, to me, Shredder, and, and yeah, I know in the comics he used different kinds of weapons in addition to his armor. But to me, when I was younger, he was the weapon. So I never, my Shredder figure never used any of those weapons. Uh, even though, at the, even at the end of the movie, which was, you know, aside from the comics, the movie was kind of my Bible. Uh, even though at the end of the 1990 movie, he's using that big sort of pike thing. Uh, 
you know, that wasn't for me. To me, it was cooler that Shredder himself was the weapon. That's what made him so menacing. Uh, all right. So this is weird. I'm not sure why he has this little belt on. And, and I'll tell you right now, I have not seen an original Shredder figure in a long, long time. So I'm not 100% positive if he had a little belt on like this. I think maybe he did. Let's take a look at his pants and see. Oh, okay, okay. So there, that's what we've got is similar to how they did with Splinter. Uh, they have a vinyl belt or, or soft plastic belt that's like the original. And I guess if you want to replace this one, I don't know, it doesn't look like that's going to come off. No, this, this doesn't appear to be removable. So there goes that little theory. So I have no idea why this came with this soft goods belt because this is a this is not a robe this is a cape this is a full-on cape uh for our pal shredder here and this cape has a wire going all the way around it so you can get some nice posing out of it very cool i love that so i don't know if i'm going to use the soft goods or the plastic cape but we'll we'll see how they both look and make a decision but as far as everything else goes, one of the great details I'm noticing here, you see Shredder's helmet looks great. I love how this metallic blue, not loving that little spot of glue that's visible right there, but whatever. Uh, this metallic blue and then the more flat blue here. And then it's the same thing with his armor. You have a metallic blue on the blades and on the trim. To make them stand out and i like that because the other option was to just straight up make all these blades silver but for me that would have deviated too far from the original toy and i know it's a tough call because if you look at things like this katana this would have just been brown which is completely crazy but in the original toy line it would have it would have just been brown and super seven has painted it to look realistic uh and and the argument could be made that it would make sense to do the same thing with Shredder's armor, uh, or with the blades on his armor, but honestly, I wouldn't have wanted that. I like them being blue, and I like them having that distinct metallic blue. Uh, to me, they have preserved the look of the original figure. So, obviously here we've got the basis for a foot soldier as well. Uh, we've got his sort of uh, pants situation going on that's just like the original Shredder. And if you want... You can even put this guy in the dramatic action pooping pose that the original Shredder was in. Well, not quite. His knees don't bend quite enough. But you can get close. I always hated that about the original Shredder figure, that he was eternally in that pooping pose. Uh, but now, Shredder can stand up straight and tall like the evil villainous warlord that he is. Evil shirtless villainous warlord that he is. Uh, looks great. I love it. The colors are all good. The articulation, uh, you can see this is, you know, this this is not a Marvel Legends figure. This is a Super 7 Ultimates figure. So aesthetically, they have made the articulation more limited, and I'm okay with that because sometimes double-jointed knees and elbows just don't always look good, and and you don't need them. And for this line of figures, I don't need them. Uh, you can see the head here. Some of you keener-eyed fans may notice this, this looks a little bit different from the original Shredder head. And that is correct. Because for some reason, way back in the day, Playmates made the decision that they would paint Shredder's eyebrows onto his helmet. This is what the original figure looked like, except for the fact that my helmet is missing an entire eyebrow for some reason. Uh, they just straight up missed the paint app on that. But I don't think I'm going to even bother doing anything about it because I just don't care. I don't. I didn't need the figure to even come with this head because this looks so incredibly stupid. I'm never going to use this head for anything. Uh, yes, in theory, uh, the principle of the thing, I should try and get a replacement. But I just, I don't want to bother Big Bad Toy Store. 
I don't want to go to that trouble for something that I literally don't care about. And if, if I weren't somebody who just sort of kept everything just because I would throw this in the trash, even if it was correct. Uh, because I just hate this look so much. It, it's, it's so goofy, but I appreciate super seven putting it in there, even though they did screw it up. Uh, all right. I wonder how widespread the, the unibrow, or I guess that's not really a unibrow the the half brow problem is in these figures. I haven't really seen a lot of stuff online about him yet, but shredder looks great. I love him. He's awesome. Uh, he comes with, I'm not even going to bother taking them out of there, but interchangeable hands. You've got closed fists. You've got open hands that look really nice, by the way. Uh, and then you've got the sprue shaped like a weapons rack with all the traditional weapons attached to it. Very cool. That's an homage to the original toy line because that's how their accessories came. Uh, and I love that Super 7 included that. Uh, and then we've got his little assortment of accurately painted weapons that are included on that sprue. I call these fisty stabby things. I'm sure there's a proper name for them. I want to say one of them might be Shanto, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, all right. Let's see how hard it is to get this head off and replace the soft goods cape with the plastic cape because I really do want to take it. Whoop. Sorry about that. I hope I didn't uh, make anybody nauseous with that sudden camera, sudden unintended camera movement. Uh, you can see the great detail work on the neck here, which I assume will probably be used on the foot soldiers as well. I think they're in the fourth wave, maybe third. I'm not positive. Uh, so let's get the plastic cape on. Ooh, that looks really nice. And pop that head, whoop, that head back on. I hate it when figures, have, there we go, have a bunch of stabby stuff sticking out of them and it makes it a little harder. Now these are, uh, these actually are rubber, unlike the uh, katana, which is fine by me because I got NECA's Toka figure and that thing absolutely stabbed the heck out of my hands while I was trying to sort of examine it. So uh, I do not mind these being a very, very soft plastic because they look great and they don't, they're not going to warp out of place or anything. Uh, I really, really like the look of this plastic cape more than the soft goods one, which is unusual for me. I like soft goods when they're well done and that this is very well done, but this to me looks more menacing. He looks more evil in this, I guess. I think this is a great looking cape. I really, really like it. Look at the painted detail there. Um, you can see there's some washes in there to bring those folds out. He is looking good with this cape. I kind of want to put the other hands on him. Hang on just a second. I was trying to keep this review a little bit shorter than the Leonardo review because I was really excited and got into a ton more detail on that one, I think. But I just want to see this shredder with oh, that hand stretched out. Boy, that, that fist stays in a whole lot better than Leonardo's did uh, if you watched yesterday's review. So that's cool. I like, whoop, that's not all the way in. Is it? Okay, there we go. Uh, I like that. I like, look at that flat hand. I think that looks really good. That's cool. So that's Shredder. He's, it's weird because he's a little more of a simplistic figure in a weird way. Uh, he's just a dude. He's got some awesome bladed armor. He looks great, but he is weirdly less exciting than one of the many, many mutants from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. Uh, but I think he's awesome. I'm thrilled to have him. He's going up on the shelf just like this. And uh, stay tuned because throughout the rest of the week, I will be reviewing more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the second wave of the Super 7 Ultimates line. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and come back tomorrow.